What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Three things to start off with today. First things first, I got my second tattoo and I'm truly, truly in love with it. It is of this car and of me three-wheeling at Villain Sportsland. The homie Abby did it for me. Her Instagram and studio is called 8th In Line Studio. I'll throw it down in this, the description below. And I'm just, real quick, I am just super pumped on this piece. Just hang on. So I got it a week or two ago and it's still healing up, but I'm just truly in love with it. It means the world to me. One, because I love drifting. Two, because this car will be my first competition car and I truly love this car. It's just, it's been a blast driving it. So yeah. Second thing is I got rid of my steering wheel. I got a new one. It's the Adam LZ steering wheel. I got it two years ago at Formula Drift Long Beach. Had Adam sign it, had Colette sign it. Um, I was gonna throw it in my 240, but 240 is gonna be on the back burner for a long time because this car is getting the most attention right now. Here's my old steering wheel. Nothing wrong with it. Just wanted to throw in the LZ steering wheel. But for the main topic of today's video, this thing is broken again. Uh, in the last video, you guys saw um, it, the expansion tank blew up on it. Here it is right here. Still got a hole in it, whatever. Uh, got, it, got the car home, got it fixed. The homie Jacob had a spare one sitting around, so I took it, shot out him. And then the next event, which is at Villain Sportsland, didn't record a single thing there. Don't have any memories from that, uh, that event, unless it's in my head. Didn't even pick up my phone, hardly. Uh, but I broke my radiator and then what else did I break? Oh yeah, I broke my drive shaft center support bearing and I broke my guibo. Here's a video of me breaking it right here. <laughs> uh, that's fucked up in uh that's fucked up in uh that's fucked up in uh Yeah, that's fucked up. So that was a wild event. Lay everyone's cars broke that event, but we got all of them home. So that was pretty awesome. But I realized after getting it home, the car sat for two months because I've just had work, didn't have time to touch it at all. But uh, finally got around to doing it and realized I don't have the time or really a way of getting my car over to like the homie's house because one, no drive shaft, can't push it up a hill and don't really feel like welding in that small little piece of metal because I know it's going to break again. So I ended up ordering a new drive shaft, a one piece drive shaft, and here it is. Here is my one piece drive shaft from Seems Legit Garage. They absolutely killed it on this. It's super light actually. Let's see. Yeah, kind of heavy. <laughs> kind of heavy, kind of light. Ah. Uh. But that is what's replacing the two piece. And then also over here, they sent the adapters. So here is the diff. Here is the transmission side. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Kind of tough with one hand, but there it is. Seems legit garage. They absolutely killed it on these pieces. Here's the diff, here's the trans side. I mean, just look at that. That's a quality piece right there. Then I got all the hardware. You got some cool stickers with it. Um, here's the first one. Actually, I already have it on my laptop. And then, seems legit. Probably put it up here with all the other ones. Usually everything I run, I put up here on my little workbench. Um, that's the homies channel, the little big boys. Shout out Jonas. Um, yeah, so I was gonna get into it. It's a pretty quick job. 30 takes 30 minutes. So let's just hop on the under the car and get started All right, first things first Got throw this piece up on up there Perfect actually um, Man, I love that they added this little small piece right here because it makes everything so easy to line up but well, looks like we are good there. Put 
look at this stuff. Alright, so real quick, um, these bolts weren't wanting to, uh, I mean, not the bolts, the nuts weren't wanting to thread on for some odd reason. Like they go a little bit and then they just wouldn't go anymore. So I had to take them out, put them on the vise and had to run them back and forth for them to really loosen up and get on there. I also put Loctite on them so we should be okay. <laughs> died um but it died at the right time so i'm not tripping about it got both adapter plates in that one down there is also in time to throw in this bad boy i'm super ex super excited i've noticed i've also been like doing this i'm um, pointing at stuff and not actually po pointing the camera at it my fault but time to throw this big guy in uh was a little concerned about this because i know it uh, comes out but I didn't know how tough it was going to be. But I stood it up. I pulled it. Damn it, I was doing it again. I uh, stood it up, pulled, pulled it out. Pretty simple, actually. Pretty easy. So I'm going to throw you guys back up on the mini tripod. And we're going to get at it. So let's get it. So, dry shaft is officially installed. Everything is bolted up. Look at this beauty. I am so stoked on this, guys. Ah, uh, it's so nice. I am so happy. Uh, install process, honestly, wasn't, wasn't that hard. Pretty quick once I figured out everything. Uh, I did Loctite every bolt just for reinsurance to make sure nothing comes out. But the, I think the hardest part at first was holding it up and trying to just thread in all the bolts because I didn't have my extra jack with me. Um, and then also right here, um, when it comes to those Allen keys, you can't fit the Allen key socket or in there or any other socket. So you have to use a um, an Allen wrench, but. Um, I didn't have one big enough, so I took one of the Allen keys, Allen key sockets, and cut it off. And then I just grabbed an eight millimeter wrench, and then just oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, just did this, stuck it in there, and tightened everything. Pretty simple. Um, if you don't have an Allen key, um, just use that. Do what I did, or if you have an Allen key, do that, and just use a socket. Uh, for leverage and a ratchet and just uh, tighten away. But yeah, car is done. Not the car, the dry shaft is done. So yeah, I guess let's say the car is done. But there is an ice storm warning um, on Thursday all the way to Friday and today is Tuesday. And I leave for work. Uh, I'm going to Cali tomorrow. So I need to get this car on the ground and outside because I want my daily driver in here and this can just stay out there i'll put a cover over it it's fine but gonna use some youtube magic and get the car back on the ground all right car is back on the ground we're all good to go uh, i am gonna stop right here for the night it is midnight and i'm getting tired and i stay to eat dinner and go to sleep because i have work in the morning but i will take the car out for a rip in the morning so don't worry you guys will get to see that um but i did start it up real quick it sounds really good because I took the muffler off. It needs to, uh, I need a new one to weld it on because I don't like that one. And they also welded it on where the exhaust sits on my control arm. So that's pretty, I'm just, I'm tired of it. I'm annoyed with it. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the morning. 
All right, you guys, it's the next day. Got the daily pulled out already, and we're ready to go. All ready to hear the meanest cold start in the world of a damn near straight piped car. I'll give it to you right now. I'm <laughs> uh, gonna let warm up real quick and also figure out the setup in here because I don't really have anywhere else to mount the camera. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the car in a second. Alright, so I'll get you guys propped up on my tripod stuck into my headrest. I'm, I'm excited for two things. One, to see how responsive the car is now, now that it has a single piece drive shaft. And two, try out my leather steering wheel. Always had a, a suede steering wheel, so kind of new for me so I'm super excited let's just hop right into it oh three things actually I get to drive my car after two months of having it sit so lifter tick is crazy The camera is messed up a little bit, hang on. Hopefully that helps. I guess it's a little dark right now, but once we get out of the sun, it'll be better. <laughs> Steering wheel is a little crooked, that's fine. Hopefully you guys can also hear me. I know the camera's gonna shake a little bit, but we're back on the road, boys! <laughs> Let's go! Ah, oh, hell yeah. Had to do that, someone was waving at me. <laughs> So, <laughs> successful test drive. That was amazing. It felt so good to drive the car again. It's been so long and it just, this car makes me super happy. Successful install, successful test drive. It needs a bolt check though, so I will do that next time I have some time off from work. Um, but with that being said, that's it for this video. So, if you guys like this, today's video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, have a great day.